Oh man, no. Oh, that's not good. Here we go. Three gram chip white. Put the get bit on. First cut off. Oh dear. <laughs> Not very good at all. Let's try again. This is going to take a bit of practice. Oh, that's bad. This is not easy casting on this. I think Tom sabotaged me with this stuff. It's so damn fine and difficult not to get overruns. Look at that. I wouldn't mind. But I use these bait cast well, I use bait casters all the time, these things are just so different. The difference is ridiculous. I'm only casting 40 foot. Underarm flick, how much damage can you impose? Yeah, too much. Oh no, what have I got? Ugh. Yeah. Look at that. Oh man, no. Oh, that's not good. Oh. Oh, the rod's broken. No! How can the rod break on a twig? Oops. <laughs> well, that's the end of that. <laughs> Look what it broke on. A twig fish. Returning back to base. Oh. I think I've got a lot to learn about finesse fishing. <laughs> Can't believe I've got broken off on a twig fish. Oh God. Unbelievable. I think it might take another few weeks to do another video because we've got all of these back into the country so might do another one in March well done, buddy. I, don't have one. I have one sir you have one sir <laughs> <laughs> Get in. My, arms. Man, my hands are so cold you got an hook there now 
I'm gonna lip flip it as well. I'm gonna go totally against what everyone. Oh no, not gone. Oh, just did that. Hey. Well then, buddy. Here we go. Well, that might be the leech. Yeah. Well, I think it's sh. <laughs> yeah. I've never, ever, ever seen that. Look at that. <laughs> Tom, what do you reckon to that? <laughs> That's a PB. I've never seen that. PB comb. <laughs> That's all. And I've hooked it well, near, nearly fair and square. That's rare. That's a rare fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm going to call it a day in a minute, mate. Yeah, I'm, I'm literally just trying to outlast you. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it is. Well, you win. You win, sir. Oh. Well, there you go. You and of course, cool. look at that. Perfect. Not using the net. My hands are too cold. <laughs> Well, that was a good job. Oh, my fingers are that cold, I can't unhook it. But there we go. Hallelujah. Didn't blank. Mind you, I wasn't too bothered about that. But we can catch in minus 57 degree temperatures. <laughs> go back, my friend. Be free. Sitting here watching John B. I've been sat here for five hours. I've been watching the cricket, been watching YouTube. I'm waiting for Parcel Force to deliver the rod tip. Jamie Needham from Needham Specialist Tackle has been an absolute legend. He sent me the spare rod tip last night on express delivery. Parcel Force, brilliant, haven't updated their tracking system, so I don't know where this bloody parcel is. So I am just sitting here waiting, wasting my breath. It's here, yes, rod tip has turned up to replace the broken one. So we've been waiting, I don't know how long. But Jamie Needham, absolute superstar. I know he's felt really bad about this, but this is not his fault at all. He's actually provided me an excellent service. It's one of these things that happen. Sometimes, every now and again, you get a flaw in a carbon blank, and we think this is what's happened with this. So I contacted Jamie, literally the day I broke the tip, which was probably a week and a half ago now, and bless him, he's been running around trying to find me a spare tip, rushed it into the post, delayed by parcel force, obviously you can understand with COVID, but it is here. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna get out there again, flood water conditions at the minute, which doesn't make it very easy, but we'll keep trying. In the next couple of videos, I will be really trying to get on top of the casting. As you've seen from this video, the casting is really, really tricky. So, casting's top priority, and let's see if we can get some fish out. 